Now, people always ask me, how do I make these custom action figures? And what kind of 3D printer do I use? Well, the culprit is actually right here next to me. This is the Elegu Mars 5 Ultra, one of the best entry-level 3D printers on the market. And I just wanted to say a huge thanks to Elegu for actually providing me with this product. All of the printers that I own are Elegu products. I have the Saturn 4 Ultra, I have a Saturn 3 Ultra, I have, well, now I have the Mars 5 Ultra, and then I have the Saturn 8K. Um, so I'm quite familiar with the Elegu brand, and honestly, they're, they're really, really worth their money. One thing that I really love about the Elegu products is that their presentation is top notch. The packaging for these guys are absolutely gorgeous. And upon opening it, I just feel like it's secured really nicely in box. When you first open it, you're greeted with this little toolkit that comes with it. And it has your essentials like some gloves, a little USB with the slicing software you'll need, a scraper, and all the good stuff. And then the main component is the build plate. And then you can see this laser etched design on the build plate that just looks really neat. And it's not just for aesthetic. That helps the prints adhere to the build plate a lot better. And a lot of the items on this printer have this little protective plastic film on there, which I really love peeling off. Oh, yeah. Now upon booting up, the setup process is pretty easy. You have to name your printer and I connected mine to Wi-Fi and that's probably the most convenient thing ever because I can send prints straight from my computer to the printer wirelessly. It's awesome. The keyboard is a little small and it's hard to make sure you're pressing all the right keys, but after a little bit of fidgeting, then you'll get it. And I really love the new sleek design that Elegu has brought to the table with their Ultra printers. I, I gotta say though, I really do like the green lid on the standard Mars printer, uh, but the black tinted one really matches all my other printers. And the Mars 5 just really looks like the baby brother to the Saturn 4 Ultra. It's, they're kind of cute together. Now this printer sports a seven inch mono LCD screen at a resolution of 9K, which is very, very high. Now my other larger format printers have a 12K screen, but personally the difference between 9K and 12K is barely noticeable that I personally can't really tell the difference between the two. They both look just as good. Now Elegu also sent me this standard bottle of gray resin that I poured into the vat to go ahead and try and do a exposure test on my prints. And the cool thing about the Mars 5 Ultra is that it has this multi-quadrant exposure test setting where you can test different levels of exposure in different quadrants of your printer. And it goes all the way up to eight different quadrants where you can test eight different exposure values to make sure you have the best quality prints. And you can see that the four different test results I had with the XP2 validation matrix. And you know, this is really helpful for those who are trying to fine tune your resin exposure settings because you can test all four in one print. It is very convenient. But I will say I had an issue or more so a glitch with my system after running this uh, quadrant exposure test, after I ran a regular print, I left it overnight and then I came back in the morning and I saw that only one quadrant of my printer actually printed. I took off my vat and I ran an exposure test and only one, the top left quadrant actually lit up. I don't know why I messaged another friend who has the Saturn 4 Ultra and he said his did the same thing. So I turned it off and turned it back on and it worked again like normal and it hasn't done that since. So I'm assuming that's just a glitch after you run your exposure tests. You guys are gonna have to get used to me glazing this stuff, but there is an exclusive feature to the Ultra line of printers by Elegu and it is their tilt release technology. Now I'm sure you may have noticed in some of the B-roll footage of my vat moving vertically up and down every single layer. That is the tilt release technology. What that does is it peels the film from the actual 3D print itself. 
which helps reduce suction and allows for significantly, and I mean significantly faster printing times. The only scary thing for me with this is I don't know how much it would cost to get something like this fixed if anything is injured. Fortunately, Elegoo support is fantastic and they got your back. Now there is a little vertical screen where you can actually adjust the settings of your print mid print, which is very convenient in case you need to last minute change some of the settings around like exposure time and uh, stuff like that. But there's also another feature where you can print in fast mode. And I have never tried this mode on my Saturn IV Ultra, but I decided to give it a whirl on my Mars V Ultra and it worked very nicely. Prints that would take about two hours and 30 minutes were cut down to about two hours and 10 minutes, which is not that big of a difference. You know, time is money. So it's very nice saving those extra minutes on your 3D print. And since then I've been using that on both of my printers. Now, as someone who started 3D printing about two years ago, I started with an older, a relatively older uh, 3D printer model, and it was the Elegoo, uh, Elegoo Saturn 8K. Um, and now here we are, we have the 5 Ultra and they have come such a long way from back when they released their older models compared to all of the amazing features packed into this one. Um, it is very, very user friendly. And like I mentioned, it is very, very good for people who are entering the 3D printing uh, realm. One of the most helpful features on this printer is the fact that it has auto leveling. Back then on printers that don't have auto leveling, it is kind of annoying having to constantly readjust the screws to make sure the build plate is parallel to the to the screen on the bottom. And uh, it, that's always like a hit or miss because if something's slightly off, then that can lead to uh, warping and a bunch of other failures on your 3D prints. Fortunately on the Mars 5 Ultra, the build plate actually has springs inside of it that if it is unlevel on one corner, the springs will allow it to go down and touch the surface. Uh, so that way all corners are touching the bottom, uh, which is fantastic. Now there is a way to manually um, level it, but I've never had to myself, so I'm not quite sure how to. Honestly, as silly as it is, one another one of my favorite features is the little AI camera. Um, now the camera, it helps detect uh, if there are any failures on the printing bed, um, which it can be helpful in case, you know, something falls into the vat and you're not able to check it, it'll automatically stop it and pause the print. That is life-saving because I am a little forgetful sometimes. And I mean, even before recording this video, I had started a print on another one of my printers without even removing the previous prints on it. And fortunately, I have the Saturn IV Ultra and it has the same kind of camera in it and sensors and it stop the print completely. It did not let it go forward. That saved me. <laughs> and what's also really cool about this little camera is that you can also capture time lapses of your 3D prints, only if it exceeds a certain height. If it's too small of a 3D print, then you can't capture it. But if the build plate is going really high up, then it'll constantly snap a picture every layer or so, and it'll compile it into one cool time lapse for you, which I think looks really, really awesome in terms of uh, video editing and such, because I could just slide this in there. And Elgu also sent me their Wash and Cure Station 3.0, and it's probably the coolest Wash and Cure Station I have. What I really like about it is not only is it really, really huge, I like how it has mirrors that slant on the bottom that shine the UV light to bounce off of it to cure the underside of items that are going over it. That is such a neat little feature um, that I honestly wasn't expecting to even see on there. One thing I do wish that it had though is multi-leveled um, curing bases. Um, I've seen other curing stations where it has two tiers where you can stack them on the top and the bottom. Um, I don't know if that's less efficient, but for me I feel like that would be really cool because I'm constantly printing a lot of things. So to be able to cure a bunch of things as well would also be great. Now another major component of 3D printing is your slicer. In this case, Elegoo provides a free copy of Chitubox Basics with their 3D printers, and it comes on a little USB that comes in the toolkit. It's completely free. There is a pro version for a fee, but the basic one I found to meet my needs and I've been using it for the past two, to two or so years. I really like it. This is where you drop all of your files and 3D models onto a makeshift build plate where you can then add your supports, hollow them out, 
and do all that good stuff to prep them to print. You can also set all your settings on here as like your exposure times, the types of resin you're using, and there are even a lot of presets of your printers on there. So as you can see here on mine, I have my Mars 5 Ultra where it gives me a little 3D mockup of my build plate. Same for my other printers as well. Within Chitubox is a little dashboard called Chitu Manager, where you actually connect your printers via Wi-Fi. And as long as they're on your Wi-Fi network, you can connect to them. And here you can see I have my two printers connected, and this is where I can also video surveillance them. But unfortunately, I keep my printers in the garage, so it's completely black in there. So if I try and get a live feed of it, it's just going to be black. But when the light's on, it's a different story. Now, all of these little action figures in front of me have been printed using Elegoo 3D printers, and all of these, every single one of these, can be printed on this bad boy. Even this big, this big boy, E102 Gamma. All of his parts are individual pieces, and they all fit on the Mars 5 Ultra. So in case you're wondering if this little guy is big enough for all of your custom needs, it exceeds your every desires. And during the process of using this Mars 5 printer, I actually made a revolutionary discovery in my custom making journey. And it is this custom action figure right here in front of me. I'll get close ups of it so you guys can see more details. I was actually able to successfully print some good translucent pieces. I always have a hard time with translucent resin. Getting the right exposure and everything like that, it's always been a challenge for me. But I finally got some settings pretty good on this printer. And I was able to whip up custom, uh, almost entire custom figure with custom arms and legs and knees and everything like that. And I think it's really cool that I'm able to show this off while showing off the Mars 5 Ultra. Two amazing pieces of work in one video. You lucky lucky. Now that's all for this review of the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. And overall, like I mentioned, it is an amazing entry level printer that I think anyone who is looking to get into the 3D printing hobby uh, can definitely afford and will even benefit greatly from this. All of its user-friendly settings, its Wi-Fi capabilities, auto leveling, there are just so many amazing features on this printer that I think everyone will love. I will also have links to the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra as well as the Wash and Cure Station 3.0 down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you're interested. That's all for this review video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and become an OG because that's what everyone wants to be. And I will see you guys next time.